Snapchat just upped its advertising game with the launch of dynamic product ads. But how will they stack up against the industry giants? Today we have with us Vaishnavi Sharma, who is the social media expert at Merkel Socrates. Hi Vaishnavi, thanks for taking our time. Can you tell us what are these dynamic product ads on Snapchat and how can they help brands? Hi Omar, thanks a lot for having me. So uh, recently Snapchat has uh, made a lot of waves uh, by launching their new product which is Snapchat Dynamic Ads. So um, as we all know that Dynamic Ads are not new to the industry per se. Um, across all platforms we have been using Dynamic Ads. The main advantage this has that you don't have um, specific creatives for every product uh, but the ad manager will directly fetch these details from the in inventory catalog that you have. Uh, this reduces a lot of time and effort that goes into creating those specific uh, videos and images. Uh, the second benefit it has and uh, the more important one is that um, the, the ads are tailored as per the user behavior. So due to this, the click-through rate is much higher because um, the user has already shown intent towards that product. And secondly, the conversion rate is also almost like 50% higher. That is because um, since the intent is so high, after clicking, there, there is a high probability that the person will convert and make the final purchase. So, uh, this combination of higher click-through rate and higher conversion rate often results in a much better return on ad spend compared to the static creatives. This is specifically, uh, specifically launched for e-commerce as of now. So, um, e-commerce advertisers will benefit greatly through this product. Yeah. Alright, so you say that these are not new ad formats, but Snapchat has launched this right now. Um, can you tell me, is there any specific USP that Snapchat brings in that brands might not be able to leverage across different channels? Yeah, so uh, Snapchat as a platform has very premium users. Uh, most of the users on Snapchat uh, have iOS devices. So uh, iOS device users usually have uh, an affluent buying pattern and they have an affinity towards higher AOV products. So Snapchat brings this equation to the picture. Like, secondly, there are very few platforms uh, um, which are as heavily do dominated by this age group 18 to 24. So if you look at like a Facebook or um, or a Google search or you know display channel, obviously there are 18 to 24 age group, but the concentration is much higher on Snapchat. So on Snapchat, a user uh, really forms a relationship with the brand mainly because of the kind of content that is posted on Snapchat. It's not a Facebook or an Instagram where uh, where brands post like high-end photo shoot pictures or uh, really professional looking images, but uh, it's more of an ephemeral nature. So it's more informal. So it is a great place to create that uh, informal and personal connection with your audience. And yeah, so coupled with the high OV, the age group, you know, because 18 to 24 is a time when a lot of people form their um, choices in brands and cosmetics and other e-commerce products. So that is a great time to influence those people for a higher lifetime value and get a high, high return on your ad spend and also connect with your audience in an informal and um, intimate manner. Yeah. Sounds convincing to me. So before a brand can jump on the bandwagon of dynamic product ads, what recommendations or suggestions would you give them to make sure they can make the most out of it? Yeah, so firstly, uh, you need to understand what, you know, like I've already spoken about the demographic, the age group, the very young audience on Snapchat. You really need to identify if your brand is going to connect with that. But if you're an e-commerce player or an OTT player and wants to reach out and create a um, create a presence among that age in that age group, it's a great platform for you. So when you are going, when, you, when you're planning to uh, you know, start advertising on Snapchat, there are certain things that you have to take into consideration. Uh, first is the creative strategy. Uh, the creatives 
the communication has to be very informal and very engaging on Snapchat. Yeah, and secondly, when you when you want to go like, go with the um, feed ad, you have to make sure that your feed is updated regularly. Like on um, like there should the frequency should be at least um, once every two hours because on e-commerce websites specifically the products keep going out of stock very very fast. So to make sure that you make the most of this particular ad format, uh, make sure that your feed is refreshed every two hours. Um, yeah. That sounds great, Vaishnavi. So Snapchat is starting to offer standard solutions, but it still is a unique platform that requires a specific strategy in terms of communication and audiences. We'll be back with more questions for you, Vaishnavi. Uh, and in the meantime, stay tuned for the latest in digital marketing.